Center to Scientology moving to downtown Detroit. It will be located right in a prime piece of real estate. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmerini is live there now with reaction from Detroiters. Brianne? <laughs> Well, Carolyn, we are here in downtown Detroit. This is a look at Hart Plaza here and spinning around here. This is the old standard savings and loan building. This is the building that the Church of Scientology will be moving into. They've actually owned it for years, but they just got a permit to do some renovations inside and they're going to start work. Tonight, the church has confirmed plans to do an $8 million renovation on their downtown building. Church officials say they have been in the metro area since the 60s, and they're currently based in Farmington Hills, but that building is now for sale. While we did stop by, no one wanted to speak on camera. In a statement, the director of public affairs said, quote, this relocation is part of the church's international program to service its parishioners in ideal churches, and the Detroit Church of Scientology will be fully dedicated to serving its parishioners and the community. Today, we asked Detroiters what they thought of the religion and the move. I've heard a little bit about it. I'm not too familiar about it, but I have, I've, like, the gist of it is kind of weird, secret society-ish. Some of the documentaries I've watched on it, it seems like a little bit aggressive. Brianna Phillips said her biggest concern was whether the church would be active in the community. Churches in Detroit are very community-based, and that's my biggest thing. It's like, if they come in as, as a, a spiritual leader or uh, some type of entity, of that nature, like I hope they accommodate the people that already exist here and give back to the community. And Jess Johnson had a live and let live attitude. I mean, I'm cool if you're like, if that's your religion, you're into it, but just don't push it on other people. No word yet on when the downtown building will be open to the public. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in there, but I hope they help the city. In the church's statement, the public affairs director says they are experiencing a major period of growth and opening new churches all over the United States and even the world. Live in downtown, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. All right, thanks a lot, Brianne.